Residents in Darwin's rural area have tonight been told to show force in opposing the breakup of large rural blocks into smaller ones. About 200 people turned up to the fiery meeting. Leo Bandius owns this land in Bees Creek and is dismayed about the controversy which has blown up about his plan to subdivide it into smaller blocks. He says he's followed all government planning processes properly, addressing water, sewage and drainage concerns. We've had uh, different people look at it. We've asked the council, we've asked ministers who and other um, people in the industry what they thought and they said the, the impact will be minimal. About 200 residents angry about the proposed change to their rural lifestyle have attended the latest in a series of public meetings to hear government member Kezia Purick's opposition. My, my plea to you is we have to show force, we have to show the support. She's already publicly threatened the government's voting numbers over this and other plans to divide the rural area into smaller blocks. But with the Territory Government's majority now down to just one, she's backing away from her threat to resign. That's not my plans at the moment at all. Instead, she's encouraging residents to oppose the government's plan to use the rural area as the answer to land shortages. Um, carving up one lot of land to please a couple of developers will open the floodgates for an enormous change in the rural area. Leo Bandias feels his relatively small development has become a football in a much larger political game. Jane Barden, ABC News, Bees Creek.